everybody and welcome to a Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video where today we're going to be talking about what was E750 and more importantly why was E750. If you haven't seen it already, spoiler warning for the rest of this video as we are going to be talking about uh, what E750 was and of course by doing that we're going to go into uh, other plot heavy story elements of Camp Cretaceous and because, you know, the third season just came out, I'm going to be talking about it. So you have been warned. So let's start with the most important question, shall we? And that is, what is E750? Well, if Dr. Wu's little blogs are anything to go about, um, E750 is the experiment, pro possibly during the events of Jurassic World, even prior, um, from taking Indominus Rex and turning it into what Hoskins would say, a smaller, better version that could be used in military purposes. Um, however, it didn't go very right. And for whatever reason, whether it was because they added uh, Scorpion DNA, they ended up making the Scorpius Rex that ended up being called uh, Project or E750. And that's why we have CE750 everywhere. In my personal opinion, uh, I feel as though, even though it doesn't feel like Camp Cretaceous is at an end because of the way it ended, it, you know, we'll probably get a season four. I feel as though we're at an end of a chapter in Camp Cretaceous's life. E750 was built up, I think, from the beginning of the first season. And throughout Camp Cretaceous, they've done very clever ways of building up E750, up until its reveal in season three, um, where it just sort of walks out of... <laughs> And for the first few episodes of season three, at the end of them, we see uh, Scorpius Rex, or E750, killing off various dinosaurs, Ceratosaurus being one of them, Moranosaurus is being another one, building up more of the suspense, not being able to see it all at once, until eventually in like episode five, or God knows what it is, it kind of just walks out. Uh, <laughs> like all this suspense and build up, like, oh, there it is. Okay, uh, it, it, which is strange because a couple of um, seconds afterwards, we get more of like, ooh, what does it look like kind of shots, but we've already just seen it. So anyway, um, but I, I think personally, the way it's revealed um, and built up is probably the strengths of E750 and Camp Cretaceous as a whole. Uh, this whole time we've been wondering what this is and if the plethora of YouTube videos out there haven't told you already uh, that this is, you know, something that the fans are really interested in. Um, well, th th it is. <laughs> And throughout season three, we find out that Scorpius Rex is poisonous, actually, and it needs anything that attacks or uh, its quills, you know, like the scorpion tail almost. Any of its quills that goes into, it uh, poisons. Now, it almost kills Sammy, and we see it poison a Cynoceratops, uh, which makes it very aggressive. Now, we don't know if its tails, or its tail, you know, uh, quills can kill dinosaurs, but they definitely give him a green eye. Uh, I, I would assume that it kills it, although it shreks things because it looked that's look that's that's what it looked like it did to Sammy. It shreked her. It looked like she was going to turn into Princess Fiona. And talking about E750, I have to talk also, <laughs> also about the length of season three. Now, season one and season two, I think, have all been eight episodes. Season three has ten episodes. Now, the reason. It's, it seems quite obvious to me why it is two episodes extra is because at episode eight, it seems like it could end. However, due to uh, Universal possibly or Colin Trevorrow or somebody who was in the, the realm of being able to tell, you know, this story or have an influence on the Camp Cretaceous story, uh, episode nine and ten are kind of a bit of a waste of time, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, they do set up a bit more like why, um, you know, E750 kind of exists with Dr. Wu and spoilers again, uh, Dr. Wu coming back to the island and also linking in the timeline uh, from Camp Cretaceous to Fallen Kingdom. Then it's not a waste of time, is it? So the kids were stranded in Jurassic World six months later. Dr. Wu comes back to try and retrieve not the Indom- well, it, they end up doing it anyway, the Indominus Rex bones or samples, but the main reason it seems that Dr. Wu comes back to Isla Nublar is to retrieve the data on his laptop. And he says this in the, in the season somewhere, in one of those two episodes, that he needs that laptop uh, of the data of Scorpius Rex in order to make Indoraptor. And if he doesn't get it, what could take, what, a couple of months will end up taking years. 
And through those meddling kids, they end up like smashing the laptop and throwing in a, in a hilarious like, oh, look, it got hit, the ankylosaur, hey, try and catch it. Yeah. Anyway, it seems like Dr. Wu isn't even going to be able to make Indom Indominus Rex, or sorry, Indoraptor, I should say, for Fallen Kingdom. Um, but he does, because they managed to retrieve the Indominus Rex DNA. And without that, you know, the skeleton of the start of Fallen Kingdom, um, we wouldn't be able to even have Indoraptor. So the main reason why E750 existed was to speed up the process of the Indoraptor. And if E750 didn't, then we may have not even had the events of Fallen Kingdom at all, because that's set three years later after uh, Jurassic World. And that's when Dr. Wu realizes that after making Indoraptor from the remnants of Indominus Rex, that it needs some sort of mother. And maybe that's the reason why E750 kind of goes a bit bonkers. We don't know. But that doesn't explain the scorpion quills that Scorpius Rex has, or that matter of fact, that there's freaking two of them. And this brings me on to the question of, is this the last we're going to see E750? Possibly not. I really don't know. <laughs> there are, now, I will speak to the contrary, that there is a chance that we will see Indo, or sorry, uh, Scorpius Rex in a season four. So the kids have left the island and... You know, they manage to find a boat within the first couple of episodes, but the boat gets a hole in it. This is very strange because we don't seem to know why it has a hole in it. I think we're led to assume that the uh, rampaging oranosaurs and the rest of the dinosaurs that are sent on rampage on the island because of the, the Scorpius Rexes um, have kind of just whacked the boat in a territorial display and nobody noticed. And then, the, you know, the, the next chasing and shoes in the foggy dock. Um, but it could be a situation um, that there is something inside the boat. Because when I, I remember when I was watching it, I thought that the, the damage from that boat, the, the hole, was done from the inside. Um, so there could already be something in the boat. This kind of also does make sense because we have Kenji go inside the boat to get the captain's hat. Uh, so they've definitely been inside the boat, even though we haven't specifically really seen them in it. Um, but, of course, by the end of the season, we get something trying the door or there's some dinosaur noise coming from inside the boat. And that could be another E750, may perhaps a baby. So, if Dr. Wu only made one Scorpius Rex, why are there two? Well, it's kind of explained that Scorpius Rex produces asexually. This meaning that there doesn't need to be two partners, that it can re reproduce itself. It has both male and female needs basically to make a baby um so it could perhaps be a, a, a way that as soon as maybe scorpius rex left or we don't really know the time events between you know when scorpius rex broke out and when the events of you know jurassic uh, season three camp cretaceous happened that scorpius rex ended up laying an egg forgetting about it because if indoraptor's anything go by it doesn't really have any parental idea in fact i'm surprised it even didn't eat the egg and maybe it did and that's why there's only one um but another one managed to hatch and as we've seen with bumpy uh, dinosaurs in the jurassic world franchise have very incredibly accelerated growth hormones so it's not out of the realms of possibility that this could be a born or one of them is a born e750 or scorpius rex that was laid one scorpius rex or the original one got out and then hatched and grew up within the span of i don't know like uh, a couple of weeks even if that we saw the bumpy you know bumpy was a baby and then within six months not even six months within two two months two or three months it's fully grown by season two bumpy is huge season one bumpy small in fact it's a baby and within a couple of days it's you know it's, it's that big it's quite it's quite massive it's, it's quite amazing really uh, how, how injun is able to facilitate this kind of growth hormone but anyway could be great in tomatoes it's it is possible that e750 or a version of e750 is on the boat um, and what's going to happen to them? Well, maybe it attacks them and then they end up like sailing off course or we don't really know. They haven't really set up too much. It could, there's even a realm of possibility that it's a Spinosaur. Oh, well, not in the boat, obviously, but there is a Spinosaur on the island. As we've seen in Jurassic Park 3, Spinosaurs like to attack boats, which I think, think was hinted at as to what killed 
um, the people the, with the tour boat company Dinosaur in Jurassic Park 3 was a Spinosaur possibly off the coast of Easel Sauna. And, you know, Spinosaur doesn't like boats and maybe it just attacked that one. Although it would be very strange that um, it was it attacked the boat and then didn't attack anyone else and uh, it just kind of buggered off, possibly. Could it be a case that the boat just banged against the side of the dock if they didn't moor it properly or God knows what? But in a fitting way, E750, again, ending the way it did, both of them, so they both end up dying, and I thought maybe one would survive, but it's not specifically stated that they're dead. One of them could just be knocked out and then get out of the rubble later. It feels as though it's ran its course. Camp Cretaceous has served its purpose in filling in a few bits. However, they did not go in that frigging kitchen, which is so ludicrous. And guess what? We're not, we're not gonna look in that freezer. Just not gonna look at it. Did that raptor die? I just wanted Ben to just go into the freezer for a second. Maybe, you know, have a homage to the slipping and then we we find out maybe the raptor's there, frozen, or God knows what. It would have just been a nice little, like, oh, so that's what happened to it. I mean, they had a chance. They basically copied a shot for shot the kitchen scene from Jurassic Park. Could they not have just told us and given us something of merit or a closure on that raptor? That being said, E750 uh, was created by Dr. Wu to try and make a smaller version of Indominus Rex. It did not go well. It kind of poisoned Dr. Wu, needing an antidote to be created. And without its research, um, without Dr. Wu, or Dr. Wu really did try to get um, its, its, its data from, you know, his laptop. And with that, Fallen Kingdom, the events of Fallen Kingdom could have, been, could have happened a lot more quickly, not only a couple of months, but because of what the kids did, breaking his laptop, it actually took Dr. Wu three years. And that's why, like I said, in Fallen Kingdom, it takes three years. The, the, the events of Fallen Kingdom take place three years after Jurassic World. So I think E750, or Scorpius Rex, as we can now call it, can I call it Scorpius Rex, um, Mattel or Universal? Am I allowed to say it without getting bollocked? Scorpius Rex actually served quite a big purpose in, in the overall uh, canon, if you want to call it. And if this is even classed as canon, that kids managed to survive on the island for six months, probably beating Eric Kirby. Five, six kids managed to survive on Isla Nublar for six months without any of them dying. And th they're fine. However, a single adult or whatever, who, whenever an adult is on the island, they always die within a, f a couple of days, if not a day, if not the, the very next hour, they seem to die. <laughs> but anyway, leave your thoughts. What did you think of E750 with the Scorpius Rex? What do you think of the design anyway? I will admit that I wasn't too sold in it. It kind of looked like a puggy thing. It was a Dimorphodon head. It was a contour head with Dimorphodon features squished. Um, but it kind of lent itself to the weird, like, ooh, this thing doesn't look right. And the way it sort of roared in the night when you first kind of saw it and it sort of contorted its body. I quite like that. I wanted them to do more spooky, scary stuff. And they kind of did it where I think it knocked out a couple of characters as soon as it attacked the base camp. And you, I mean, you know they're not dead, but it's like, oh, one's gone. Oh, they're down as well. Oh, another one's down. There's only three left. You know what I mean? But they, they, they did what they could. I really would have loved. I mean, they couldn't have done too much because it's a kid, you know, it's a kid's program at the end of the day. Um, they don't want to scare kids too much. They kind of did it. But, you know, maybe this is where Indoraptor got his spooky scariness from. Scorpius Rex. Because they both have similar things. You know, Fallen Kingdom was at night and Indoraptor's doing those claw thing. And so did uh, Eastern 50. However, it was, I think it was never explained why Scorpius Rex liked fire. But it did. Um, and really, in the end, it, the, the fire was just a distraction. I thought maybe it would be like a moth and it would want to just go into the flames and burn alive. But no. No, it just died. It had rocks falling on it. It didn't like itself. Uh, it was destined to just die. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. To leave your thoughts in the uh, comments below. Did you like ESM50? What did you think of its design? And will we see another Scorpius Rex in Season 4? All in the comments down below. I'm sure you guys are much wiser than me. And this is just me kind of ranting and putting my thoughts onto, onto a video on YouTube. <laughs> so, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, well, season four comes out because it's gone. It's probably tomorrow. Probably We'll probably get a trailer for season four tomorrow. But at the break that they've been going, there's, there's no let up with them. Uh, <laughs> but until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.